Hi, this is Chugam from Movies to You, and today in this podcast, we are going to discuss about a security transaction tax, that is STT. Over here in this podcast, we will gonna discuss the complete logic and mechanism behind this security transaction tax, how it is applicable, when it is levy, and what are different calculations. But before that, if you want to read the full article about a security transaction tax, then the link of an article is in a description. So let's start. Security transaction tax is a direct tax levied on a profit from a financial instruments like equity futures option or purchase sale of any security listed on a stock market exchange former finance minister mr p chidambaram introduced the security transaction tax in 2004 as a measure to counter a tax evasion by market participants what are the stt changes and what this stt mechanism all about will discuss but before that the basic question is what is a security transaction tax the security transaction tax STT is a direct tax levied by central government and enforced by Security Transaction Act. Since there is no specific definition for the STT in Securities Act, what comes under the security has been taken from a security contract act. This includes stocks, bond, debenture, derivative, government securities of equity nature, equity-oriented units of a mutual fund, interest on securities, and securitized debt instrument. So basically, it covers everything in India. STT is not charge on unlisted share unless these shares are sold under OFS offer for sale it is vital to consider off market transaction do not come under the scope of a STT act this means STT is only applicable if the transaction are done on a registered indian stock exchange in case of a STT charge on a future and option transaction tax on a future trade amount is calculated on actual trading price in crore task option trades are taxed at a premium amount this amount is collected at the time of a transaction by the broker so let's understand through example if i am having an unlisted share of any startup let's say a cred which is not a registered so if i trade in that then there is a no stt but if i trade through offer for sale then the stt is applicable similarly if i am active in a trading activities for a futures and option then stt is applicable but for a future trade amount calculated on actual trading price like a lot of a one future but in contrast of a option trading the amount of premium which i get or offer stt will be charged on that amount stt is deposited by the broker on the 7th of every month for the succeeding month where the profits are earned stock exchange and mutual fund houses have to file an annual return on the financial year ending in which the stt has been reduced or calculated or collected failure to file annual return can lead to any or heavy financial penalties and fine so let discuss how is the stt is calculated over here we are going to discuss stt calculation in two markets the first one is a cash market which is for equity and second one is a future and option market which are derivative so let discuss a cash market stt is charged at 0.025 percentage when stocks are sold in the cash segment for intraday trade it is calculated by multiplying the rate of a selling price and the number of share for instance assume i sold 10 shares of xyz company at rupees 500 per share at 3:15 pm then the stt sold will be 500 into 10 that is 500 the current market price then number of share and the fixed rate 0.25% so which gives us stt as 1.25 rupees stt on delivery trade is levied on both buy side as well as sell side for example if 10 shares are purchased at 200 rupees stt will be charged at 0.1% which is calculated as 10 shares current market price 200 at 0.1% that is 2 rupees on sell side also similarly charges will be considered if this share sold at rupees 250 then the stt will be charged as 0.1% which will be calculated as 10 into 250 into 0.1% that is 2.5 rupees hence the total stt pay on transaction will be 2 rupees for buy 2.5 for sell total for conducting this transaction as an investment point of view is rupees 4.5 stt stt on delivery based sale of a units of oriented mutual fund transaction is levied at the rate of 0.001% that is 1 rupee for every 1000 rupees now let discuss the future and option segment for transaction involving option selling stt charge at the rate of 0.017% on the option premium if the option is exercised then the rate is set to be 
to 125 percent on the settlement price it is important to note that when the option is exercised SCT is paid by the purchaser for future transaction SCT is levied at the rate of 0.01 percent the seller has the responsibility to pay this amount and it is charged on the price of a future being traded on the market for the sake of clarity let's recall what is the percentage and what actually happens for cash market number one if you are a intraday then the rate is 0.025 percent that is 25 rupees for every thousand rupees and if you are not doing an intraday you are engaging delivery activity then when you buy the share the rate is 0.01 percent and at the sale also 0.01 percent but since we are buying and selling on a different days the total SCT will be 0.01 percent plus 0.01 percent that is 0.02 percent two for every thousand rupees now for future and option in case of a future number one stt will be 0.017 percent and for selling you don't have to pay stt for futures the rate is 0.01 percent now let's discuss relation between income tax and security transaction treatment of a stt depends on income being categorized under income from capital gain or profit or gain of a business and profession a person will only be a tax under income from capital gain if he either in some other line of a business or a salaried employee if the holding period is less than one year then such income comes under stcg where there is a holding is more than one year then the such income tax under ltcg equity shares are sold on bsc or nsc will be taxed at 10 percent if the subject to ltcg tax this rate increased to 15 percent if the short term transaction in addition to this charge surge and education says will be levied when the assessi primary source of income is through trading and security then the assessi will fall under the head of profit profit and gains for business and profession capital gain is a such case are taxed as per the regular income tax rate and any amount of STT paid is allowed to be deducted as a business expenses under section 36 of income tax act 1961 it is clear that the security transaction tax is a straightforward and easy to understand way of taxing stock market transaction the purpose of introducing STT was to ensure that establishment of a system that would prevent a tax evasion and promote Transparency. The Finance Act, STT Act, and Income Tax Act are provided the framework for this system, ensuring that while investor and trader are taxed, they do not lose out of their profits entirely. So let's discuss what is a bottom line over here. Security transaction tax (STT) is basically a gateway through which the government and the regulating authority get the knowledge of a valid transaction. If we are running in business of a securities, then we get a deduction under the head of income tax as per profit or gains from business or profession so it is a win-win situation for both as government get tax benefit and validity of transaction and the investor or trader gets recognition and deduction as in expenses so thank you guys for joining with us if you want to read the full complete article then the link of article is in a description shubham from monist view signing off